I made my confession under duress. I fully believed I was a groomer because Jack told me I was one, but I don't believe that anymore. I am not a groomer. Jesus Christ, it's Bloody Marshall! Hey, it's Bloody Marshall, and welcome back to another video. If you don't know, a little while back, me and JXC made a video on a person named Just the Robot. And a lot of people have been recently commenting on that video saying that that video has aged quite well. And you probably are wondering why. Well, that's because Just a Robot recently has been caught trying to defend and trying to help a known predator. They have literally been exposed for that. Now, the predator I'm talking about here, which is Cinnabear 03, which, wow, what an incredible, you know, timeless classic name, is an art YouTuber that was exposed for doing some pretty deplorable shit. Now, the deplorable actions wasn't sitting there and watching a Rutrix video, which, you know, that's pretty abhorrent shit. But basically, what this, the, the horrible thing that they did was that they were caught grooming a minor for over multiple months. And I shouldn't say caught actually, it wasn't, it wasn't like some Chris Hansen shit. It was more like they got exposed by a former roommate who came out and, you know, exposed all of this shit. And I mean, it, it's pretty fucking gross. Like looking at all of this shit, it, it's, pretty, it's pretty fucking disgusting. And I, I suggest that anybody that is very, very curious in this entire thing, go and do some more research and look into all of this. Because God knows that I am not gonna be exposing all of this and I'm not gonna be talking about all of this in detail. I shouldn't say exposing because I, if I could, I would expose all of this. But I'm saying there's so much shit about this entire thing that really, it is best if you do it yourself, all right? How did Cinebear respond? Oh, just like every other YouTuber that has some pretty fucked up allegations against them, they made an entire YouTube video talking about it. But this apology video, much like other apology videos, was not accepted very well. And rightfully so, because the entire apology was fucking horrible. I groomed this child and I knew what I was doing was wrong. It's actually so fucking hilarious. And to be honest, most of this shit almost seems like it's out of a fucking TV show. I mean, really, like a lot of this is like so out of the norm as far as predators go for them to just blatantly admit to all of this. Because I, I don't know if most predators know this, but just because you sit there and admit to everything that everybody knows you're doing already, does not mean that you're just gonna prance away innocent does not mean you're gonna prance away completely untouched. So she made this whole bullshit apology and then later literally sexualized a minor character. Not minor character as in a character that doesn't matter that much. I'm saying a minor character as in a child. A child in art, which is such a huge topic for some reason on Twitter that a lot of people like to debate, hey, it's just pixels, you know, pixels mean nothing. They just because they're, you know, appear to be a child, they could be 5,000 years old, which is another weird thing Japan is fascinated with. But Cinnabear sits, sits there and sexualizes shit like that. And I tell you what, Twitter's reaction was not very kind to what Cinnabear had to do, and it was actually a very rare Twitter W. I mean, literally, most of Twitter and everybody was completely just pounding on Cinnabear 03, and really, it was, a, it was a very kind thing to see. But you know, there was one person that kind of felt like they were defending Cinnabear 03, and I wonder who it was. Get out! You've got some big balls. You've got some big balls. You've got some big balls. <laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot.
What is up my Arabian folks, it's me your boy GXE, I'm back here again to tear another one into just like a groomer robot. I guess my comment about him liking BBC was wrong. It seems that just a robot is more into that freaky shit if you know what I mean, wink wink. Hang up that computer call, come over here and kiss me on my hot mouth, I'm feeling romantic. Anyways, yeah, I'm back here again to bully just a robot because, well, I'm bored and Marshall needs views and honestly, I need views. So if you don't subscribe to him right now, I will smite you and will probably eat all of your fucking nachos. So yeah, anyways, uh, sit back and relax. Grab your snacks, grab your drinks, and grab your groomer fuck buddy and let's dive right into this god awful video. Just want you to text me, I don't want no extra. You say that she likes me, well, I think you messed up. So for context, this whole thing happened when an art channel named CineBear03 got outed as creep number 4269. I'm sure Bloody already talked about her in his section, so I won't bother recapping here, but basically, Blondie bitch over here got exposed for being a bit too weird with minors, and everybody was rightfully pissed at her, except for some interesting people who felt the need to quote unquote defend her for some reason. It's probably because they're fucking stupid. And among those people was the myth, the legend, the robot daddy himself, just a robot, who, for some reason, upon hearing this shit, befriended her and made an hour-long video where he tries to defend her in the most terrible way possible. Like, seriously, this video alone is so goddamn awful that it makes school debates more interesting. The arguments that he makes in this video is so goddamn bad, bro. That's fine, but she's not a pedo. Now I know what some of you are gonna say. Well, we're not saying she groomed a 14-year-old to get with them. She just groomed a 14-year-old to be more comfortable with conversations like this so she could coom. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I thought that at first, but it turns out that the minor was the one being inappropriate first, and she kept on pestering Cinny to talk about stuff like this. You see, your honor, it's not my client's fault for grooming the 14-year-old. The 14-year-old wanted to get molested. My god, dude, the amount of victim-blaming Jardos in this video is so bizarre and just plain out disgusting. Anyone who tries to defend this shit should get beaten up by a crowbar. He also, for some reason, tries to mimonize her accent so much in this video. Yes. Cindy knew the miner's age. She asked early in the combo. Sure, she could have forgotten this person's age. I talk to a lot of people myself, and it's hard to keep track of stuff like this sometimes. What the fuck is wrong with you? Jar, for the love of God, just log off the internet and jump off into the nearest river near to you, bro. There's nothing to defend here, my guy, and the fact they're trying this hard to defend her says a lot about you. Kinda reminds me of a certain other commentary channel who tried the same thing. The only reason I could think of as to why Jar would defend this con is probably because he's a simp. So uh, let me go off topic. Cinny, are you? Can I call you Cinny? Is that how you say yeah, your name? But... Yeah, it's Cinny. Okay, I might accidentally call you Sunny by accident, but I'll, I'll try to call you Cinny. So Cinny. Like, let me ask you this, something. Are you, um, uh, you're straight, right? Then we have this really funny message saying, want to see my cock? Showing an image of just, you know, a rooster as a meme. But you can tell Mr. Robot here, he's being a little flirtatious to her. We have Jar over here saying nice pussy to reply to a picture of Cinny's cat. Nigga, what the fuck is this bullshit? So yeah, that's all for my part. You get the gist. Jar is an idiotic, morotic simp bot. And Jar, if you're somehow watching this video, I have a very important message to you. She's not gonna fuck you, bro. You're above the age of consent. Cry harder. Hey now, you're an all-star. Get your game on, go play. Hey now, you're a rock star. Get the show on, get 